afternoon. It is, ooh, sorry, I am like a hot mess here. It is, oh, I'm just trying to move you all because I feel like I'm not in the frame very well. Um, It's Sunday, a little after five. I just put dinner in the oven. I'm using up all our leftovers today. Um, I only get a turkey breast. I don't do a whole turkey because um, normally it's just the three of us and my mom for dinner and then like my in-laws come later, my brother and sister-in-law and my niece and nephew come for pie later, but we didn't have anybody. So um, so that I only get a turkey breast. And so we have a little bit of stuffing left. I had a little bit of turkey, mashed potatoes. I have a little bit of squash, a little bit of corn. So we're gonna finish that all up tonight for dinner. Um, I didn't bring my paper in with me, darn it. I wanted to tell you what I'm making though. <laughs> I'm calling them turkey bombs, <laughs> but they're like turkey croquettes or something. It's a, a skinny something recipe and I'll link it below. Although I did it, nothing to where the recipe was. I changed it and did my own thing. <laughs> But I'll I'll post it. Hey, look, can you pause your video for a second? What's the matter? Something important came out. Hang on. Okay, as I was telling you, I think about my dinner. Let me tell you about my dinner, and then I'll tell you what does this, things change here within a second. So, I'm calling them turkey bombs. What I did was I took my turkey that was left and my mashed potatoes. I just put them in my food processor, processed them up till they were kind of not, not like ground ground, but you know whatever, crumble, more crumbly, not like smooth muck. Um, and then I put them in a bowl and I put an egg and breadcrumbs. The recipe calls for wheat breadcrumbs. Didn't even know they made wheat, wheat breadcrumbs. Never saw them, never bought them, but I just had regular breadcrumbs. So I made, I got my big ice cream scoop, scooped them up, dipped it in the egg, dipped it in the breadcrumb, put it on a cookie tray in the oven for 350 for I think half hour I'll check and see how they look and uh and that's it and then I'm gonna make some gravy because we have no gravy left because my son is a gravy aholic so I'm gonna make some gravy and then we'll have those turkey bombs with a little bit of gravy on them I'll have some leftover corn and I'll probably have the little piece of stuffing there's not much stuffing left so we should be able to finish all of our Thanksgiving meal tonight. And that makes me so happy because <laughs> I'm not big on leftovers. So I try to transform them into something. When we traveled years ago with our group of kids, <laughs> our biggest thing was, if you don't eat it now, you'll get it again in some different form. <laughs> so like sometimes we'd have leftover cereal. So the kitchen ladies, <laughs> And make like big sheet cakes and they crumble the cereal on top for topping after they frosted it you know kids were like I don't care <laughs> but we did stuff like that we always we always we didn't throw away we always use so anyway so my brother-in-law just called my husband their family has COVID they got it from the funeral yes the funeral that I went to Tuesday but and her sister's family has it. We would be, they said we would be showing signs by now. See, and we didn't, I don't want to say we didn't get close to anybody, but we didn't get that close to anybody. And I didn't hug anybody. And uh, same with Wednesday when I went to the funeral. I, you know, I mean, I talked with my friend and stuff, but I didn't, we didn't, I don't get close to anybody. Um, then I wanted to tell you my sister I don't know if I told you, my sister Julie, she's the second from last. She and her family has it. She works at a nursing home. And um, I feel bad because she she had to work. She work, She only gets one weekend off a month. She They have, you know, however they're scheduled. So she had, she worked through the weekend and Monday. And then Tuesday started a 10-day vacation for her. She woke up Tuesday sick. It's been running rampant out at that nursing home. So she's not surprised, but she was kind of hoping she would escape it, but that didn't happen. So now I'm nervous. I mean, I don't, let's see, that funeral was Tuesday. 
I mean, we're five days past it. They are all having symptoms. We have nothing. We've been fine. So, and of course, we had our masks on, but they all got together and had like dinner afterwards and stuff. We didn't do any of that. We went home. We didn't even go over to the burial over at the grave, which was right across the street from the church. Um, but we, my son's like, should we go? I'm like, no, we, we, we were here enough. Let's get out of here. And you know, the thing that like bugs me now, not at my church and not at the funerals we've been to at my church, which I, we went to one over the, was it summer? It must've been summertime. Uh, a, a little guy died and he, Roman was like his favorite. So he, he actually had in his like things that he wanted Roman to serve his funeral. So I took him to serve. Um, but like at the end of Grandma Sally and Grandma Dawn's, the two, two of the kids got up and spoke and they took their masks off over the mic. Now the priest had already spoken it. The, um, the priest, I think that was it, just the priest. I thought there was somebody else though that said, that went over and used it. Oh yeah, the readers, they had, they had two people reading and one person doing petitions. So they had, there was four people that used that mic before the last two people. And they all took their mask off. And I'm like, mm, I don't think we should be doing this, but oh well. So I'm just a little frazzled <laughs> that they're, that they just called with that news. I don't know. So but like I said, we've been staying away from people I, I know, I, I know we're all going to get it. I know we are. I just, I panic though. I really do panic. I don't, I don't want to get it very bad. Now my sister, um, she's got the chills real bad, the fever, the cough, the breathing. She's got all that. She has no taste. Um, that's what they're experiencing right now. They said their symptoms right now are mild, but they have no taste, no nothing. So anyway. So that's why we are staying home. I, I hate though, my husband has to go back to work tomorrow, but all the kids are gone. So I, and it'll probably be pretty thin down there because it's hunting season here. And a lot of people take off Monday for that. Um, like my son's off school yet tomorrow. So, um, so that's it. I'll let you know how my turkey bombs <laughs> turn out. My breakfast was, I had two scrambled eggs and two of the, um, I think, are they Jimmy Dean turkey sausage? I think it's two for three points, zero for the eggs. And then I had a, uh, I finally found reduced calorie uh, hot chocolate for one point. So my breakfast was four points. For lunch, I had some capusta and my salad. So my salad was three and the capusta was three. So that's six, so 10 points. So I have 22 points for dinner and I did, I had points left over last night too, because I didn't calculate right. And I was going to put a little thing on the screen to show you what I actually did, but I had already finished my video and I figured, oh, but <clears throat> yesterday my pizza was 16 and I, I had, I believe I had 22 points left over. So I had some pretzels last night. I still think I ended the day with two points left yesterday. So I, I feel like I'm doing pretty good, but I don't know. <laughs> I weigh in on Tuesday, so we'll see. <clears throat> so I think that's about it for now. I'll let you know after dinner how everything was and good and I have to figure out the points. There's not very much mashed potatoes. We did not have very much left, like maybe a cup. And it said to make like three potatoes, but I thought I'm not making any more mashed potatoes. <laughs> I don't want that much. So I just used what I had and, and then the turkey. And it all came together really well. I put no liquid in with it, but I think that's why the mashed potatoes are in it. And uh, I know my corn will be zero. So I just have to figure out, I got 13 bombs out of everything. So the turkey's nothing, so I'll have to account for a little bit of potato, a little bit of gravy, and I think that's it, because that's all I'm going to have tonight, so I will let you know, though, after I eat how they were, and I'll put in the description box the recipe, although I didn't, I just read the recipe and did my own thing. I do that a lot. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs>
but I do that a lot. So anyway, the boys got the front almost all done. We have a tree in the middle of our yard out front and um, my son's going to get the lights ready for them tomorrow. He's, I think we're putting white lights in. Usually we put multicolored lights, but our whole front is red, green, and white. So I said, why don't we do white lights this year? So I think we're going to do white lights. And then we just have to finish the backyard. They had the shed done. They got the candles in the window in the garage. Because, yes, we still do the old-fashioned candles in the window. I have them all in my house. Every window in the house has one, but I have white lights on them. The garage and the shed have orange lights. So it's like back from the, you know, 60s, 70s. And they are they are the candle things, operas from the plastic, you know. <laughs> Those came with my husband, so... Anyway, I will let you all go. So I will see you after dinner and finish my day here. Okay, good evening. My turkey bombs were the bomb. They were very good, very tasty. Um, I had two of them and I had some corn and every time I get on here that clock rings. Um, and I had some stuffing. So my dinner was eight points. So I still have, okay, wait, let me think about this. 32 to 22 minus eight, 14 points left today. Um, I'm probably not gonna eat anything else. It's seven o'clock already. So I'm going to finish this video, upload it, get in the shower and I want to watch the Hallmark movie on tonight and that's about it I think um, the boys are just finishing up some stuff outside we are in a winter storm watch from tomorrow night through Wednesday afternoon yes we have storm watches that last like 48 hours <laughs> so we're supposed to get like 8 to 12 inches of snow so this could be interesting to see if this happens this week um, so I told you we got word that my husband's brother's family has it. I told you my sister's family has it. So, um, they think they got it from the funeral, but here's the thing. They all, when we were at the funeral, we had our masks on the whole time. After the funeral, they buried Grandpa Don across the street from the church. They have their own cemetery and Grandma Sally was cremated. So she was in the, in the coffin with him then they all went out to lunch somewhere I don't know where and they took their masks off so somebody obviously had it now she had a brother from Georgia come up so who knows but somebody obviously had it and when they took their masks off because we were there you know at the funeral and we we're fine so far I think we would know by now and um, they told them that they don't need to like contact people like we he said, we should be fine. We shouldn't have to worry. I'm worried no matter what. My poor son is terrified. I don't know how to make it any easier on him. We keep telling him, if we get it, we get it. We'll just deal with it. We'll be fine. We've been sick before. You know, but uh, after my husband got sick the past couple years, I don't know if I ever told you about my husband getting really sick. And it's always around the holidays. Um, but he got really sick either two or three years ago and we thought he was gonna lose half his leg he got he got cellulitis very bad of course we didn't know what it was and he went for days without it getting treated I don't want to say days we he did go to the doctor and he got a penicillin shot and they gave him penicillin but it did nothing he ended up in the hospital for like eight days and um, I mean, they pump so much stuff into his body, and but we, we were prepared for him to lose half his leg. We thought for sure half the leg was going, but they kept reassuring us they would get it, they would get it, and they got it. And the very next year, same time of year, right around New Year's, same thing happened. So now he takes penicillin every day. I think he takes 500 milligrams um, either once or twice a day, but he takes penicillin every day. And he, last Christmas was the first Christmas that he did not get sick. 
So, um, so we're just praying that we can make it through this whole thing without us getting sick. I do have a lung condition. I had asthma as a child that went undetected. So in my right lung, I have the size of a baseball scar tissue. When I do get sick, I have very bad coughs and um, I get I tend to get really sick and it lasts forever. Sorry, I'm into the night. Okay. Oh, All right. So, uh, praying that we don't get it. So that's it. I try not to say much in front of him. Um, that is it. I'm not sure what my menu is this week. I gotta work on that tonight yet and figure that out. Tomorrow night's Monday, so it'll be some sort of chicken dish. <laughs> Even though we just had turkey for like three or four days, but it's gonna be chicken. And then, um, my son's birthday is Thursday and he wants pork chops. So I know we're having pork chops on Thursday. I'm also going to make him, uh, he likes red velvet cake. <clears throat> just making it out of a box. <laughs> Unless I get real adventurous, but, um, so I'm going to do that. And, um, I did have to go to the store today. I went to the Dollar Tree and I went to General, or Dollar General. My church is still doing like a gifting tree or angel tree. So they had the stuff out today when we were finally back in our church today. So I grabbed some cards and some of it was just easy stuff. Coloring books, crayons. Um, puzzles, and then there's baby diapers and wipes, um, bigger kids, scarves, hats, and gloves. I went to the dollar stores because they have, I, mean, I use that stuff. I use, we have dollar, um, you know, gloves and scarves and stuff. So uh, I got a whole bunch of that stuff. And then I got diapers and wipes and, you know, I got, I got everything I could. Um, and then wrapping paper, tags, bags, and tape. So I just went to the dollar store and got all that stuff. So I'm going to take that all down to church this week and drop it off. Um, so I did six tags that were hanging um, because I'm afraid not a lot of people are going to do it this year. So I don't know. We'll see. Because there was only like 30 people in church today and I don't, nobody took one because it's in the back back of our church although it's the front of our church but <laughs> to me it's the back of church whatever the altars here this is the back but it's actually the front of the church and uh but everybody comes in the sides so and he didn't even our priest didn't even announce it today so I don't know uh if we're gonna have a lot of people you know doing it so I felt bad so I took six tags. I spent like over $60 on stuff just at the dollar store. But, um, so I want to take that stuff down, but that's all. I don't have to go for anything for us. We are good on everything. And, um, you know, I, we told our family, you know, if you need something, let us know. We can make porch drop offs. So we've done that. So Anyway, so I will see you all tomorrow for another full day of eating. I have pictures of all my meals in here. And that's it. So have a good night and please stay safe and healthy.